Smartphones in Ophthalmology, Global Implications. This is a collaboration between the International Centre for Eye Health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and the Cam Camera Culture MIT Media Lab at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. There are 6.5 billion people in the world, 285 million with low vision and 39 million who are blind. If we look at the causes of visual impairment, of whom 246 million of the 285 can be considered to be at this level of acuity, the leading cause is uncorrected refractive error, followed by cataract and then glaucoma. If we look at those who are deemed blind by the WHO standard, the leading cause is cataract, followed by glaucoma and then age-related macular degeneration. Diabetic retinopathy is another disease on the rise. We will focus on these diseases and global solutions to these problems. If we look at the highest prevalence of blindness shown by the dark red colour on this map, it is predominantly in areas of poverty, particularly in Africa. This inflation map shows where people live. And if we look at where those who live with blinding eye disease compared to where the resources are to treat the blinding eye disease, there's clearly a huge disparity, particularly in Africa. So uncorrected refractive error. Of the global population, approximately 4.5 billion have access to a mobile phone. 2 billion have refractive errors and 600 million have uncorrected refractive error, of whom a proportion are blind or visually impaired due to this uncorrected refractive Current management of this is costly, including devices such as a ferropter, an auto refractor, or having a trained refractionist or optometrist. In September of last year, in the news was this device developed by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This is the NETRA, the Near Eye Tool for Refractive Assessment, a clip-on tool for mobile phones that allows the user to measure their own refractive error. This device costs less than one pound, approximately one dollar. The device would work on a smartphone or on a variety of different mobile phones and the subject when looking through would see a red and green image. This animation depicts something along what it would be like. They move the images in to bring them into focus and this calculates their refraction instantly and is displayed on the screen. As this is on a mobile phone device, it is then possible using SMS to send this eyeglasses prescription to the nearest provider. We here have performed a validation study and if we compare the difference in spherical equivalent between a subjective refraction which is considered as the gold standard and the netra refraction, 47% were within half a diopter of the subjective and 76% are within one opter. In terms of visual acuity, if we look at the corrected visual acuity based on the netra reading, the average eye improves by four lines of Snell and acuity but our range was up to an improvement of 19 lines. If we just look at the group who would have been deemed visually impaired if uncorrected, i.e. vision of worse than 618, 88 improved to a level which would be deemed suitable for driving in most areas. The mean improvement in these subjects was approximately seven lines of acuity, which could be an improvement, for example, of 660 or 20 over 200 to 66. 2020. We now look at cataract, the leading cause of blindness worldwide. And MIT have now produced the CATRA, which is the cataract maps with snap on eyepiece for mobile phones. This low cost, user friendly device allows the subject to map out their own cataract, monitor progression, and save it to the phone's device. Is it possible for an all-in-one solution that can measure these leading blinding eye diseases and visual impairment diseases? Uncorrected refractive error, cataract, glaucoma, macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and other diseases. Through this collaboration, 
we have come up with a single device that can do all of these things. Using a smartphone or tablet, a trained person can go into a community, measure subject's visual acuity by touching on the screen at a standard distance from the subject. This will record their visual acuity in each eye and instruct the user on which test to perform next. In this example, I've been asked to refract them. So the Netra here would be used, would be clipped on over the device and the user by moving their fingers on the touchscreen in a very intuitive manner is able to calculate their refraction. Similarly, cataract grade can be measured and a numerical reading provided. This further device for the detection of glaucoma is a visual field test. Visual field tests are notoriously difficult, cumbersome and expensive. This touchscreen device which has been validated works by the subject fixating on a single point on an Amsler grid and this Amsler grid is given five different levels of contrast. The subject closes one eye, stares at the fixation point and then marks with their finger the area which they can see. This then gives a measurement of their visual field which here has been compared to the standard Humphrey field and if you take the example here at the top right this is someone who has severe visual field loss with a central island of visual acuity of visual field still remaining. The retinal camera is an attachment to the tablet to a fiber optic cable This allows viewing the fundus through an undilated pupil and by touching the screen the image is captured and saved to the device. This is useful for examining the optic disc and the macula in conditions such as glaucoma, related macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. The entire information can then be located the GPS point where the patient's data is saved and then easily found for relocation in the future in blindness treatment initiatives. The cost of a device such as this we approximate compared to the current gold standard methods to be as follows. And that's all in a handy portable device that can be carried around which is low weight and easy to use without the need for a large transportation vehicle to carry heavy and expensive equipment. Thank you for listening. If there are any questions, please contact me below.